This is why Manchester United already started an internal discussion about Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. And today, guys, we touch on Manchester United, new technical director, but also very bad news for my United in terms of injuries. And so there is something to discuss for present and future. Let's jump into it together. And so guys, let me start this new video mentioning Manchester United. Uh, yesterday I told you an exclusive update on Jason Wilcox joining Manchester United from Southampton. It's done, it's official. Jason Wilcox is the new technical director of May United. Uh, agreement on the compensation for Southampton. So the mission of May United was very clear. Omar Berrada from Man City, new CEO. Done. Now, new technical director, Jason Wilcox. He will work on recruitment, on the academy, on identity. He's the man who uh, did a great job at Manchester City as head of academy, then joined Southampton, and now going to Manchester United, never tempted by Liverpool or any other club rumored in the media. He was only focused on Manchester United, negotiating for Manchester United and dreaming of this project. Now he will be part of Vinio's discussions. And now the next step is going to be Dan Ashworth. Just a matter of time, and then Dan Ashworth will be new Manchester United director completing this trio for Ineos a really important one negotiations with Newcastle continue for May United to have Dan Ashworth as soon as possible so Jason Wilcox in at Manchester United he will be involved also in the summer transfer window plan will be a really important person for Manchester United so an important and huge appointment for the club, but for Manchester United, also bad news in terms of present guys, because for the FA Cup tie uh, semi-final against Coventry, uh, it's important to say that May United will miss three more players. New injury for Mason Mount, new injury for Sofian Amrabat, new injury also for the young defender Willy Camboala. So all of them out for the game against Coventry, all of them to check to be checked in terms of injury for the next weeks. Uh, I'm told that uh, Eddie Ten Hag was forced in the last 24-48 hours to test Casemiro as a centre-back because he only has Harry Maguire as fit centre-back. It's a disaster in terms of injuries. Imagine that it's more than 60 separate cases of injuries or illness for Manchester United players this season more than 60. It's around 64, 65. So it's an incredible situation for Manchester United. Too many injuries. This is absolutely not normal. This is why Manchester United already started an internal discussion about that. Um, they have to fix this and they will fix this in the summer with Ineos already thinking about that in terms of uh, staff. They need to change something because it's impossible to accept more than 60 injuries. And as I mentioned, Harry Maguire is the only fit and available centre-back in that position. Obviously, there are some youngsters, but Maguire Maguire is the only one, Varane is out, Evans is out, Lindelof is out, and all the others, obviously, including uh, Lisandro Martinez. So for Manchester United, now also with Camboala, is a real emergency for the centre-backs, but in general, too many injuries, again, for Mason Mount. But the point with the staff, it's really important for Manchester United to fix, and to fix also on the market, because Manchester United will sign an important centre-back in the summer. We mentioned players like uh, Bremer, players like Todibo, players like Brant White, Antonio Silva, all of them being scouted by Manchester United, and then it's important to say that May United will also consider the chance to sign two centre-backs in case they see an opportunity in the market based on what's going to happen with Rafa Varane. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on Manchester United, all these updates, I wait for your comments. Here is always, remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel, see you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao!